Hello and welcome to another video from Olympus. My name is Lewis and in this one I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your mobile phone to your new EM10 Mark IV so that you can control it remotely and download any images wirelessly. Connecting your phone to your camera is a brilliant, quick, efficient way of downloading your images and uploading them straight to social media or even controlling the camera wirelessly and remotely so you don't actually have to touch the camera to take a photograph. Before we go into the camera however, we need to make sure that we've downloaded the Olympus Image Share app available for iOS in the App Store, but also available for Android users on the Google Play Store. Get that downloaded, get it installed and then we can have a look in the camera settings. So first we need to make sure that there is a memory card actually in the camera for it to work. That is just in the battery door at the bottom. Pop the memory card in with the writing and the text facing the lens and the front of the camera. This will mean then you have a little symbol at the very top left which is a Wi-Fi and phone symbol. If you hit that, it will open the device connection and Wi-Fi starting. And if you get this screen, this means that your phone has connected to it previously. If you want to set up a new device, press info and you'll end up with the QR code. Once you have this on the screen, we're now ready to move over to the mobile phone. In the Olympus Image Share app, once open, you will see there is a little bar at the bottom where you can swipe up and press easy setup. Then if you press scan, it will allow you to hold the phone over the camera, scan the QR code and press start setup. Then press register to register the camera to your profile. Give it a moment or two and you will see it will connect to the Wi-Fi. Once they are connected, you'll see a little number one on the very top left of the camera screen. And that is it. We don't have to touch the camera again now. If we press close and then we have the remote control, import photos, camera how to edit photos and add geotag on the image share app. We're going to focus purely on the remote control and the import photo section in this video. So if you hit remote control, you'll then see you have full control over what the camera can see. So you can point it at your subject and press on the app itself on the screen and whatever you press on will focus and then you can press the button at the very bottom to take a photograph. It will then show you the image that you've taken and you can either press the button on the top to download or share instantly to your social media or press the camera icon at the very bottom and you're ready to take another photograph. If you're just wanting to download all the images that you've taken throughout the day, press on import photos and it will bring up a list of all the images that you've got on your camera. The ones with the little download icon next to it are already downloaded to the phone, but you can download them again. The easiest thing to do is just tick each photograph that you want, press the download button and you'll see it will start importing your photographs. If you want to download them by day, you can just select the date and it will download everything on that particular day. Once you've done that, you can swipe up where it is blue on the very bottom and actually turn the camera off when you finish with it for the day. So there we have it then. I hope that video has been useful to you. Remember, you can go out and spend the day taking photographs and then set it downloading on the journey home. So you don't necessarily have to control the camera through the app at all times, but it is there for if you want to import the photographs nice and quickly without the need for a computer. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.